What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Rainy here with RTS Mobile Game and bringing you an awesome video today. We are playing the Lord of the Rings Rise to War. And in tonight's video, we are talking about Black Serpent Retaliate, ladies and gents. That is right, Black Serpent Retaliate Corsair. Pew, 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 death and destruction. This build has been so much fun. I messed around with this build, if you saw my video, at uh, somewhere around the end of Season 2 or 3. I didn't really have the gear for it. I have the gear for it now, I have the commander respect level for it now, and uh, I think it's time to bring it out in PvP. I'm using it for two or three days here, and it's have it has had some awesome results. So, this particular video is just from a number of reports from tonight's PvP. We had a massive epic battle, as you can see all the battle lines here, where Kraken, the Kraken... Uh, Warband here on server six, uh, 116 for Season 6 fought directly 1 versus 1 against KSEL. We were able to take their uh, Warband Fortress down here, down south near Umbar. Uh, several of us ported down. Okay, it was an epic battle, an epic battle for the past almost two and a half hours straight. I've been sitting at this hotel bar because <laughs> I flew in today for a business trip that um, all my jobs start tomorrow. I've been sitting at this hotel bar, drinking Blue Moons, having some epic PvP. We just destroyed their fortress, so shout out to both the Kraken folks who were out here uh, collecting HOA rent and the fantastic opponents we have in KSL uh, EL. Shout out to them. So, in this particular report, I'll be looking at two, or this particular video, I'll be looking at two different Black Serpent reports. Sorry for moving around, trying to come to my chair here. In this particular report, we have Black Serpent against Gandalf the Grey. This is a fairly strong Gandalf the Grey with good 5-star purple gear, a nice high respect level, and overall strong damage build running Alchemists and Reapers. Okay, Now, the Black Serpent is geared, of course, to counter burn damage so much as he has high alert. Okay, I am not using an anti-burn damage chest of any sort, but I am using high alert, which means uh, I will be taking 50% reduced damage from the enemy alchemists. Um, I, the Gandalf is also running high alert, so he'll be taking 35.7% uh, reduced damage from... My Corsairs, so we actually almost counter each other in, in a couple ways. The Black Serpent build itself, let's take a quick look. I only have to show you the Black Serpent build once because it's identical for both fights, okay? It relies on a Reckoning. You can really, as long as you have a 2 Refinement or better Reckoning, you'll be able to pull off this build. Don't do it with a 0 Refinement, okay? That's all I can tell you. 2 Refinement or better is perfectly fine. You will dominate, okay? Uh, chest piece. I like this. It gives good plus HP to my evil men. It also gives me some damage mitigation for the first two damage instances. Then we have Easterling Hell, which is an anti-stun as well as some good defense. I would love to run a helmet on this guy that has curse on it. would be amazing if I can find a good helmet for Black Serpent with curse. And for the accessory, I'm running Palantir of Orthanc. This is solely because I keep uh, KSEL has a ridiculous number of Whaled Out Gilgalads. Every single one of their players has a Mega Whale Gimli and a Mega Whale Gilgalad. All 90-something KSEL players. Every single one of them. Therefore, <laughs> if you want to win in PvP against KSEL, you have to use the Pursuit accessory, okay? So whether you use Wizard's Firework, whether you use a Palantir, or whatever, for whatever commander you're going to run, you want to run... Pursuit against KSEL because I swear to God, two thirds of the heroes I fight are freaking Gilgalads, okay? With five star gold gear, okay? Corsairs are the main damage dealer for this build, as we know. They are going to be dealing burn damage. They'll be retaliating, and they also have a 10% chance to evade all damage output, which is fantastic, okay? For the skills, all right, so. Uh, I don't have Tribal uh, Tactics Dual Strike maxed out in the R3 tree. I'll tell you why. But I do have Haradrim here. I do have Evil Alliance. and the R0 tree, I have Horn of Harad, 29 out of 29. And all extra points are going to go into the Fire Dancer build in order to max out Arson, okay? Um, this is interesting. I'm going to tell you why I went this route. Okay, so... Getting a 25% chance to have a double strike on units that have minus 70% damage to their double strike 
not appealing for me. Okay, I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to double my damage from thirty percent damage to sixty percent damage. I really don't. I would much rather see extra points in arson because arson hits multiple targets um, two times. Okay. Uh, in addition, powder keg is two more damage instances, right? Uh, so basically what you're seeing in rounds three, six, and nine, you're seeing up to six individual burn damage instances that all hit like 1,200 to 1,500 damage, okay? That means your damage isn't going to be crazy. It'll be decent damage. It'll be more than getting a double strike on your Corsairs. Uh, but really what it does is it's six damage instances that are going to impact enemy ability to avoid the damage or any other sort of stacking bonus that they might have, okay? So um, let's take a quick look at rounds one and two, and then I'll jump to the other report. This is exciting. So here in round one, folks, the Swan Knights are getting retaliated on for more damage than they're dealing. I love that so much. The Reapers, same thing. They are getting retaliated on for more damage than they're taking. That's the point of this build, right? Black Serpent reduces his Corsair's physical damage received by 43%. 43%. Okay, so against the physical targets like this, you are going to absolutely obliterate them. Here against burn damage targets, right, you are going to deal a little bit, a little bit uh, of a lower damage received versus, uh, to damage Taken ratio. I said that the wrong. I said the same thing. I, I just said the same thing. I'm so silly. You're gonna have a little bit of a worse damage output versus damage received ratio versus the alchemists. Um, and then here, okay, the corsairs. This is why I don't care about a double strike. What am I gonna do with a double strike? What is a double strike gonna do for me? I'd rather have these six instances of arson damage. Let's jump to round three. Let me show you what that arson looks like. It's not a ton of damage, okay? Um, and since Gandalf takes, you know, 50% reduced damage from burn, it's really going to do next to nothing. But the important part is, okay, we have Powder Keg and we have Arson. So it looks like the Alchemists and the uh, Reapers, and it looks like the Alchemists and the Reapers both dodged Black Serpent's damage. However, I still was able to put out Four damage instances, okay? I put out three arsons, right? One, two, three, and one powder keg, right? Four. And then I got another auto attack in for five. So if they didn't dodge those other things, that would be a total of seven damage instances from Black Servant here in round three. That will really help you eat away at any bonuses the enemy has, such as avoidance. Look at this. I absorbed two enemy avoidances with Black Serpent. Therefore, my units will deal much more damage this round. That is the point of having Black Serpent with the Arson Tree. Much more valuable, in my opinion, than having your Corsairs with 70% reduced damage from auto attack deal a double auto attack. I don't care. Okay? Here is the other report for you. I've, and I've had, a, I've had a couple slam dunk reports where I just completely wiped the floor over like a Witch King or whatever. You don't want to see that, right? You don't care if your anti-burn damage Black Serpent counters Witch King. You already know he does. I'm showing you guys some interesting reports here that you might not have thought Black Serpent could win with this build. That's my point. So, we are fighting against an Aragorn King of Men, okay? Uh, shout out to Moonshank here with KSEL. Again, this has been a brutal battle for the last two and a half, three hours between KSEL and KRAK. Uh, great fighting. So against this Aragorn King of Men, I'm running the same exact build you just saw to a T. I changed nothing, okay, other than I'm missing 252 troops, okay? So I'm missing 252 troops, two and a half command. I come in, and I beat this guy into the ground, okay? <laughs> How did I do it? Well, let's look at his gear. He has a lot of plus HP in his gear. Six HP there. He's got, oh my goodness, 39 defense on the chest. I don't care. I do burn damage. Uh, on the helmet here, he's got 6% mitigation. And on the accessory, another plus 5 HP. So that's plus 11 HP from gear alone. Okay, how much other HP does he have? No other plus HP. But he has plus uh, 39 uh, defense and plus 11 HP. So this is a very tanky Aragorn King of Men build. If I was running a physical damage Black Serpent, I would have gotten murdered here. 
I would have gotten absolutely murdered, okay? However, since I came in hot and heavy and punched him in the face with my burn damage, I was able to come ahead with dramatically, dramatically higher damage output. This is not a scrubby blue gear Aragorn King of Men, right? This guy has pretty substantial gear. He has a five-star epic, right? The legendary. He's got a five-star two refinement chest and a four-star uh, accessory. That's crazy, okay? I would say that my gear is maybe a little bit better. I do have a five-star five refinement weapon. Uh, it's not a unique weapon, but uh, it does have retaliate. And then I do have a five-star chest. So I think our gear is pretty similar. Mine's a little bit better. This is a great battle for you guys to look at and see who uh, really took the W here, right? Given the fact that these are Corsair Tier 3 infantry type units and they do cost more than like a, you know, a grunt, uh, uh, the orc, uh, whatever, infantry or anything like that. Um, Corsairs are expensive infantry. But I still dramatically outpaced him in the actual resource costs for this fight okay let's look at rounds one and two and then i'm gonna hit end on this video you're gonna like and sub because i love you a long time <laughs> so into this particular battle ladies and gents we are gonna see an enormous amount of damage from the corsairs because aragorn 2 king of men does not have anti-burn damage okay so uh we'll see how that plays out I'm just taking a look here. The Corsairs have not dodged anything yet, but look at this. <laughs> the Retaliate. Look at this Retaliate damage on the Swans. 19,920. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. And then I had an auto attack for 17. I couldn't counterattack the Sharpshooters. If he had a third melee unit, I might have got a full victory instead of a draw here. Because he had a ranged unit that I couldn't counterattack, I wasn't able to get full damage. Okay, here's the guard of the tower hitting for 25, and I hit him back for 20,843. <laughs> Black Serpent is so much fun. I love Black Serpent. Okay, here we go, round two, guys. Now we're going to see Aragorn really start to pick up his damage, right? He's got a couple different damages coming in here. We've got Cole the Week. We've got Precise Blow, right? Boom, boom, 18,500 damage already. Then we have an auto attack. So we're up at about 23,000, 24,000 damage from Aragorn. Then we get into the Swan Knights. We get an auto attack, retaliates, uh, and everything. So between just the Corsairs, auto attack and retaliate damage, we have 30, 40, call it 44,000 damage, plus or minus, 44,000 damage from the Corsairs here in round two, just from two retaliates and an auto attack, okay? These guys are no joke. They are the real deal. And here's that arson I was telling you about, the arson powder keg combination. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six damage instances, guys. If this was against an Asildor, I would have just annihilated his last alliance buffs in one fell swoop. All right, and it's not terrible damage either. I mean, I'm dealing 1,200 damage, right? 1,300 damage a pop. Call it 12. Uh, you know, it could be worse. Could be worse. I could do worse things than 7,500 damage in one round with Black Serpent. Not terrible. Not amazing. Could be worse. The Corsairs here in round three still coming in, hitting for some good damage. Hitting for some good damage in round three, guys. So, again, I think this would have been a slam dunk W if he wasn't using sharpshooters. And I really don't see a lot of KOMs using sharpshooters. It's pretty rare. It's usually like a Swan Knight, Guard of the Tower, Guardian type combination or whatever, where they just are running uh, primarily Guard of the Tower and you have, or maybe Knights and a few other units mixed in at one or two command just to absorb some CC. So, all right. That's the fight, guys. I don't need to show you a million other things. As you can see... We have had a whole night of PvP here for the past few hours. I could just go on forever. Um, amazing fighting all night long. Okay. Love you long time. Randy out.